Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So a lot of people wanted me to talk about the whole Azealia Banks situation, honey. <laughs> So once again, Azealia Banks was trending on social media yesterday for all the wrong reasons. She's never trending about her music. It's always some fuckery. So what went down this time is this. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody at all. And here comes Azealia Banks. Oh my God! My neighbor put out a gun on me! That's my interpretation of Azealia Banks yesterday. So what happened is that Azealia Banks basically took to Instagram instead of going to the police department to let all her followers know that her neighbor decided to pull out a gun on her. Why this neighbor decided to pull out a gun on her, she didn't feel like saying, but she went on to, to cry and scream and let snot run down her nose. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and try out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. This is me like, like two months ago. And I didn't go with the cops because I was like the only black girl on the street. I don't think anybody knows who I am. But he came outside with a gun again. I got the one that got at me. Please come to my house. Please come. Oh. Please come to my house. I don't care. Like just anywhere you are in the valley, just come to my house. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. I was like, and it's like if I'll call the cops, like. I don't know what the cops are gonna do. I don't know what white people are gonna do. You know, he's like, I'm like the only black girl on this fucking white street. And this nigga came outside with a gun just now. Came outside with a gun just now. He came to my door with a gun at 6.30 in the morning the other fucking day. Uh, just like as many people as possible that can show up at my house. Please show up at my house. I'm about to call the police. And the police are probably just gonna think I'm like some crazy black girl with like a colorful wig. And I just, I'm like, I'm out here in LA by myself. I don't have no family out here. I don't have nobody out here. Please just come to my fucking house. This nigga really just pulled a gun on me. Pulled a gun on me. Came to my door the other morning with a gun. Like calling me all kinds of names. Please just everybody come to my, please come to my house. Please, please. I'm at 21. 801 San Miguel Street in Woodland Hills. 91364. Please just come to my house. Please come to my house. Please just come here. And just like a crowd my house. This nigga got a gun. This nigga got a gun. Like, this nigga's been calling me bitch. He's been calling me psycho. He's been calling me all kinds of shit. Like I don't I don't even know who this nigga is. He was like, oh, I'm a criminal attorney and I'm gonna put you in jail. And I'm just like, for fucking what? You know? But the nigga just walked outside of his house with a gun in his fucking head! All right, so you guys just watched that video of Azealia Banks once again freaking out. So a lot of people were concerned for her. Um, when I posted the video, I didn't leave any comment because for me, I just felt like it was just a bunch of bullshit, okay? Y'all have to realize I've been covering Azealia Banks and her antics literally since like 2015. And I feel like I know this girl inside and out, even though I've never met her. But, um... I just felt like it was once again a bunch of bullshit. Let's not forget, close to two years ago, back on April 16th, 2018, Azealia Banks took to her Instagram page and she claimed that she was assaulted. She said she was sexually assaulted. Supposedly somebody put a roofie in her drink. And so she took to social media and this is what she said. She said, what is even in a roofie? I've never felt that type of intoxication in my life. I woke up and my throat was on pins and needles. So that was one of the posts that she made, but she was also on Instagram freaking out, crying and everything else. And then eventually she came back to tell her audience that everything's under control. Her brothers are there. Her friends are there. She's going to be fine and you guys don't need to panic and that she loves everybody. And this is why I can't take her seriously because she goes on Instagram. She freaks out. She makes this big brouhaha. Only for it to end up just being like, oh, you guys calm down. My peoples are here. Fuck it. But hold up. You woke us up out our sleep. Screaming that you were sexually assaulted and roofied 
only to tell us that it's under control and that you love us and we need to shut the fuck up and fall back. So Azealia Banks has done that one too many times for me. So when I seen this video, honey, when I tell you, I didn't bat an eyelash. I felt no emotion. I simply just sit my tea and moved on to the next door on my Instagram feed, okay? Because Azealia Banks be doing too much. And that might sound mean. That might sound harsh. But once again, this is her MO. And what did she do later on that night? The same thing she did almost two years ago by going back to Instagram and just acting like, oh, what happened and what her freak out was no big deal. So she took to Instagram later on last night and she said this, guns are scary as fuck, but I need to to calm down and understand that people who brandish weapons won't really shoot them. Then she also goes on to say, what kind of man pulls a gun to intimidate a single woman who lives at a home alone? Fucking yuck. Just pray I get some sleep this morning. I have a long day tomorrow. Love you all. Thanks to everyone who came to check on me and everyone for being super vigilant about this. I'm leaving here tomorrow, but I felt it was important to make my whereabouts public in case this crazy guy decided on anything strange. I'm okay, a bit traumatized, but okay. I love you all, AB. Then she says, because nah, that was a lesson in adulthood. I never want to feel that afraid ever again. So again, this is her MO. She freaks out. She drums up a bunch of attention because nobody's checking for her. And then, you know, when people realize that she's full of shit, then she comes out with, you know, these Instagram stories about how everything's okay. And, you know, thanks for checking on her and everything else. Now, me being the nosy person that I am, okay, that's just what I do. I want to go look up the damn address. I don't give a damn. She put it out there to the public. I want to know who the hell owns the house. Is it really her shit? Is the address even real? So, you know, the address is 21801 San Miguel. Um, and that's in the Valley in Woodland Hills, which is a very nice area in Cali. You know, there's nothing cheap in Woodland Hills like that. The home is estimated on Zillow for over a million dollars. It's a four bedroom home. But what's also interesting is that the home has been in foreclosure since December 24th, 2019. So this entire situation is insane. You know, I doubt that she's the homeowner. Um, and I don't even believe that that was the address that she was really at unless she's squatting because right now the home is in foreclosure. So this just proves that once again that Miss Banks is looking for attention, okay? Ma'am, here's the attention that you ordered. We're giving it to you and now we're going to turn around and move on to the next story. You have a good day, Miss Banks. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Ratchet Florida rappers, Miss Azealia Banks, and her crazy freak out last night on Instagram. What do you guys think about all this foolishness? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.